Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another tutorial. Today I will be showing how to get the Windows 10 setup going through a bootable USB device. Now, a good situation in which this will be practical is if you have an ISO file for Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 7, it really works for all the newer versions of Windows. And you have this ISO, maybe you ripped it from a DVD and you're looking to transfer it over to a USB device and boot up the computer from that to install Windows 10, Windows 8, or what have you. So we're going to use third-party software here. It's called the Windows 7 USB DVD Download Tool. Now, regardless of its name, it's been proven to work with Windows 8 installations, so I don't see why it would not work for Windows 10. So I'll put a link for that in the description of this video. So we double-click on that and if we have user account control enabled we'll click on yes now we're going to choose our ISO file now we should have the ISO file on, in a location on the computer that we can easily access it I just have mine for simplicity's sake right on the desktop here so I'm just going to go over to that and click on open now your shortcut for the ISO file might not look like this I have Power ISO installed on this computer, so that is why the icon looks a little bit different, but an ISO file is an ISO file. So we'll click on Next for that. Choose our media type. Now this is important. Uh, we are going to specifically do a USB device. I might make an alternative video later on for the DVD or CD version, but we're just going to go with a USB device here. Now we're going to have to insert a USB device. I already have mine in. I'm going to look, click on this little drop down menu. Here's our flash drive. Yours is probably going to say removable media, removable disk. However, I've personally named mine as flash drive to keep it simple. So we can see that there's 11.4 gigabytes free on this flash drive. If we begin copying, we're going to see that we have this little pop up saying that the selected USB device must be erased in order to continue. So make sure you back up anything that might have been saved on the flash drive previously because it's pretty much all going to get wiped out when you do this. And we're going to get another warning here saying, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, we are. We definitely want to do this. Now step four might take a little while. Right now it's formatting our USB device. And once step four has progressed far enough, I will be back. Hello everybody, I'm back. We see our bootable USB device was created successfully. We see our status as backup completed. Now it's important to know with this method, there might be an error message associated with the device not being able to boot properly. I have a link to the video of how to work around that error message in the description of this video. Regardless, we see our bootable USB device was created successfully. Our backup is complete. We can close out of here. And now our objective is going to be to boot the system off of the USB device. Let's just uh, restart the computer here. We're going to try and get into our BIOS. Now depending on your motherboard's manufacturer, the key will be different. Usually it's the escape or F2 key. Okay, so I'm tapping F2 right now. And now we have launched our BIOS settings. So using our arrow keys here, I'm going to scroll over to boot. I actually have removable removable devices at the top of our list. If it is not, you should ha you should uh, move it up by using the plus or minus keys. That'll either drag something up or down in the list. So we want removable devices on the top. Now, if we were doing this with a CD-ROM or DVD, we would want to move the CD-ROM or DVD to the top, obviously. But this should be good because removable devices is at the top. So now if we just use our error keys and scroll over, uh, I'm not sure if we have to change anything, but just in case your settings were different, I would definitely go in and check to make sure that's where they should be at for this. And now we just click on exit to save changes. We're going to save our configuration. Now our computer is going to restart and we see that we are beginning to load the Windows 10 technical preview installation setup files as we speak. Now, I'm pretty confident this process will be identical once Windows 10 is released. And I believe we're approving this right now that they are still showing compatibility for this tool. So, I'm not going to go through the whole process of installing Windows 10 on this machine. 
because I believe that we are already seeing that we are booting off of our USB device here. So I think that will be about it for this review, guys. Take it from as you wish, and I will see you in the next review. Bye.